Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Why are mine tailings collapsing in Western Armenia? Carpet making and toilering courses will be organized in Stepanakert, traditional medicine in Western Armenia, Van province. Spring sowing starts in Artsakh. After the restoration, the church of St. Repsimans was reopened in Kastadnapol. One of the bridges of Paris is illuminated with the colors of flags of Armenia and France. People were illegally deprived of their home city Granakert. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. Over the past two months, mine tailorings have collapsed in three different cities of Western Armenia. Environmentalist mining industry experts noted that minimal persecutions were also taken to prevent accidents. As a result of the accident, chemical waste mixed with water, air and earth. And why are tailing dumps collapsing? According to mining waste regulation, the mining industry is considered as an activity that causes hazardous waste. Experts emphasize that the tailing dumps are not engineering miracles and contain many risks. One of the biggest causes of of collapse is the uncontrolled release of waste into the forest area and the absence of dams. Heavy precipitation also contributes to the collapse that there can be no reason for the collapse. The leadership of Western Armenia is against the illegal use of natural resources as well as the pollution of the natural environment as a result of the process. Carpet making and toileting courses for women living in Artsakh will be organized in Stepanakert from March 10. This was reported by the coordinator of the program, Maria Andresian. The aim of the course is to stimulate and restore the carpet weaving culture, give impetus to cultural progress, provide employment for Artsakh women, giving them the opportunity to get a new profession. The classes will be conducted by experienced and specialized women. The lessons will begin on March 10 and will last until July, Andresian noted. The Armenian residents of one province of Western Armenia were mostly craftsmen. The skills include jewelry, metallurgy, textile and carpet art, and the annual meadows of the Armenian gorge. They were engaged in agriculture and gardening. The poet Grigor Narekatsi lived and studied in Narekavang. The author is the creator of prayer book Narek. The composition of folk medicine included prayers, pilgrimages, visits to shrines, as a result of which miracles and the invention of supernatural forces were expected. Read the full article on the specified link on our official website. Sowing of crops in Artsakh will begin at the end of March and will continue until the end of May. This was stated by the Deputy Minister of Agriculture of the Republic of Artsakh, Vilen Avetisian. According to him, up to 5,000 hectares are provided for spring sowing crop rotation instead of 5,057 hectares last year. For those crops that are also sown in the region, it is planned to set a price above the market during the harvesting period. At the moment, there are favorable weather conditions on the territorial republic and it's possible to sow potatoes, flax, barley, wheat and emmer. There are no problem for the proper implementation of the process at the moment. We are waiting for the import of seeds from abroad. Summarized Davetisian. Construction works have been completed in the Armenian Church of St. Repsimans, located in Sarier district of Kostadnapol, and the church has opened its doors to the faithful people. The opening ceremony was also attended by the Armenian Patriarch of Kostadnapol, Archbishop Zahak Mashalian. Murat Sum, Chairman of Founding Council of the Church Foundation, recalled that the building was founded in 1848. He told about the details of the construction work. St. Repsimans Church is one of the most active churches in Kostadnapol. During the epidemic, we closed our church as liturgies were held behind closed doors, Sum said. On the occasion of 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Armenia and France, on February 24, one of the bridges of Notre Dame Cathedral at the initiative of Paris Mayor's Office was illuminated with the colors of flags of Armenia and France. However, we would like to remind you that in fact diplomatic relations between the Franco-Armenian Treaty began on October 27, 1916, between the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Artisite Bryant, and the Chairman of National Delegation of Armenia, Poros Novar. The residential territories of the ancient Sur quarter of the historical city of Tigranakert in Western Armenia were forcibly alienated for their real owners, and the constructed territories have completely turned and continue to turn into rented places. The new generation does not recognize the culture of their city that has remained in the past. 52 workplaces built on the site of the destroyed houses of Tigranakert were given to their new owners by competition without taking into account the opinions and rights of former residents of these quarters. 
the former owners of apartments actually remained face to face with the new owners of their former territories, who dominate both financially and with the state support. They are forced to independently solve issues related to their new housing. Dear compatriots, the state television company of Western Armenia is not engaged in advertising. Our long-term work is aimed at preserving and developing the ties of our compatriots with our motherland. In this historical period, it's the duty of all of us to support our national demands, to stand together against the challenges we face and achieve the establishment of our just rights, which unfortunately is ignored in modern international relations. Our struggle is lasting, but a victory is unstoppable. Western Armenia expects your effective assistance on this difficult path that we will walk together. Together we can do more. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.